Okay, today let's go through the basics. Oh yes, I've shaved the beard off. It was a mistake. I done it for a uh, 80s do thing where I wanted a moustache. And uh, anyway, yeah, it had to come off. So it's coming back, don't worry. Strength will be down for a week or so. Anyway, today I'm gonna go through the basics to the stool to press. So just to show you how to train it, all different levels. So first of all, we need to strengthen and condition the straddle else sit position. So some of you will need to elevate your hands here, bend the knees slightly, raise the hands up. Once we can get into a straddle else sit position, we can either have our hands facing backwards, which is slightly easier if you're working on the floor, if you're not so flexible. Ideally, hands facing forwards would be the best way because that's where, where you want to be when you do actually do the handstand. And then we can play with different entries into that straddle L sit positions. So if you have it, ideally you'll jump straight in with eccentric. So starting in a straight handstand, lowering down through the eccentric press and then going into the straddle L sit and hold at the bottom. In reality, most people won't be there initially if they're working towards the sort of press. So we can split the movement up into an eccentric press, either with back to wall. Now, if you are gonna do it back to wall, Ideally, go with the one with the butt touching, then the low back, then the mid back, and then the upper back. If that's too hard, you're gonna to have to do the one where you're fully on the wall. So you take your shoulders and your butt and your back all to the wall, and then try and peel down nice and slowly. When you get to the bottom, hold tiptoes on the floor for two to three seconds, showing control. You still want most of the weight being into the hands and shoulders, and not falling back towards the feet. And then just add in one of the entries into straddle L sit. So then we have the controlled, slow, eccentric stall to press, whether that's split into two components or one component by itself, either with the hands raised or hands on the floor. Then we can start to play with the up movement. So ideally, again, I'm saying ideally all the time, we'll have a press handstand. So we'll be able to go up like so. If we can't do that, we want to use some momentum to get up or we can use the wall in some way. But really, if you're miles away from the normal press, still work that straddle else sit, but you want to be doing work towards the straddle press to handstand, not necessarily working towards the stall to press as a skill yet. First build that press handstand nice and strong. You can still work your straddle else sit, and you definitely want to work your straddle mobility. Then we can start to work for the actual stall to press itself. We can start to go with eccentrics with a partial range on the way back up. So I'd start on a handstand, go down as low as you can and come back up again. Again, you might need to raise the hands. It's good to have some sort of target with this one. So you just measure the target from your fingertips, come down and hit the target and come back up again, slowly increase that range. You could do it with raised up hands as well, but again, ideally you'll be on the floor. And then the other option, if you're already strong, but don't quite have the mobility come through, you could use a slight bend in the elbows as you go up and as you come down, just to allow you to have a bit more time and control, and then slowly straighten the arms. And then it's attempting the full movement. Now, whether you go from the straddle L, so like climb into it, which is slightly easier if you're not so flexible. So there, and coming up. or start on the floor already, and then push up from there to try and get into the stool to press. And come up that way. Now that's just gonna look different depending on your flexibility and strength, but you can use a little bit of momentum with that one, which might help. Now obviously for stool to press, straddle flexibility is really important, so I'll be doing standing straddle flexibility like this. Your normal seated straddle flexibility, so like straddle good mornings. Normal deal, let me know if you have any questions and I'll speak to you next time. Thanks guys. Oh, and the bed will be back next time.